Hey guys, Joe from JM Concrete here. Thanks for clicking on our video. This week we are tearing out a 950 square foot driveway. Stick around, see how we tore it out, got it prepped, poured it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave us a like, subscribe, and thanks for taking a look, guys. We were tearing this out and we were certain there was going to at least be wire in it but there wasn't anything in it so the tear out came out really really quick broke it out in big pieces turns out the base under this was just really solid it kept it really together and we flew right through it I like putting a whole bunch of holes in the concrete right up against the garage or brick so that when I'm breaking out bigger pieces after that, I know it'll break there and not chip the edge of the garage and I can just come back and do it slowly. The one thing I really liked about this job that the last job didn't have was a very quiet street, not much traffic, very wide. We were able to switch out the trailer and the dump truck quite easily. You can see here, once we were filling these up, got out of there, minimal traffic. Uh, really appreciate what my wife was doing. We would get our trips done and she would gather all the finds and the little pieces which makes our job a lot easier. I just come back, scoop it up and we really fly through it.
One thing I love about driveways is you can cover a lot of square footage without having to frame that much, especially when you got these straight 16 foot two by fours. We can lay them out quick. Here we covered 950 square feet and all it was, it was about, I think, uh, seven two by fours total. That and it was just easy to get a straight line the longer they are. It's just hard finding straight ones. And then they bow, so you have to constantly get newer ones. But it works out really nice. So I one of the reasons I love driveways. que le agrade por él lo que le y se le mande un... Once it was all framed out, I decided to Take some of the gravel that was already there, spread it out. It's a great base anyways. Brought in some road base, spread that out. Compacted it all.
just like every job that I do, I did about six passes, like this nice and firm. So firm that when our power buggy was going over it, it didn't even leave any sort of marks. So we were real happy that the soil cooperated. And most concrete guys know sometimes it takes a lot more passes, but after six, I was pretty solid. making sure our rebar is two feet off center. The tolerance isn't really tight, but we want to get pretty close. Also making sure it's away from- You're laying the rebar, you have to make sure that it's about between four inches to three inches away from the edges of the forms. You don't want it too close. As you can tell on this side. And then we're gonna drill some dowels into the foundation here just to minimize up and down movement. My dad's over there cleaning up the edge so when we put our expansion joint, uh, it sits flush. We have to do that so that there's a gap between this concrete, that concrete, and allows concrete to expand and contract. It's be moved. All right, guys, so far we've torn the driveway out. We've got it prepped. Rebar is laid. Grade is set. Forms are set. We are good to go. As you can see, everything's ready. The soil's very well compacted. Now, up next is the pour. Let's see how that goes, guys. We had a great crew of guys on this. Uh, a few of them were rotting, spreading that concrete out, and one of them was putting chairs under the rebar because I had to pass over it with the buggy, not bend them, and then he had to prop them up with the chairs as I was working my way back to make sure the rebar was in the bottom third of that driveway slab, in the compression zone as it's called.
Unlock it. Move. All right, give me some. That's a four inch slump right there, nice and dry. That's for action. All right. What? Stop. And you saw there when uh, concrete was coming down the chute, we pour about a three and a half, four for driveways. We like minimizing shrinkage. We know that cars do have salt on them when they're driving on these Colorado roads. We want to minimize any possibility of any flaking, spalling, scaling. But it makes it a little harder to work. I mean, the guys aren't happy. We had that 14 foot rod and we had one guy on each end and one in the middle. And the Buffalo has to make a couple more passes, but it's not so dry that it leaves voids. It's just kind of a pain in the butt to work with, but it leads to a much better job. And once it's down on the ground, it's pretty easy to work with. The pouring is the hard part, but um, it's a benefit to the customer. It lets me know that I don't have to come back ever to redo anything, hopefully. Did my dad tell you to put all this concrete over here? Yes, he did. Okay. Ah, pinches hojas molestando en abril a la ciudad. Ah, pinches cosas. I couldn't believe that in April, on that far back end, the wind kept uh, picking up leaves and tossing them back there so we had to pluck them off and broom it immediately after finishing just to make sure leaves weren't broomed into the surface and even then I told the customer that backside there's probably going to be a leaf or two that we missed but apart from that the job went as expected once it was on the ground we started knocking it out came out really well so at the very fence end we had to go back at it after this gentleman here finished just to get leaves off, dust off, and making sure the broom went in there nice and clean.
Yo no te voy a pagar, dice, si, si te lastimas otra vez que andas en, en la moto. Sí. Hey guys, so the pour went well. We have a little leaves on the surface, wind's blowing them on there, but it's nothing we couldn't handle. It's coming out really good. We're brooming it right now. We poured it very dry, about a three and a half inch slump, but it came out really, really well. We we're very happy with it. Customers very excited about what they're seeing so far, but there it is, guys. Another one done and another very happy customer. There it is, guys. We're wrapping everything up. It's looking really good. Driveway came out awesome. Poured it early, poured it dry. It's looking really, really good. We poured a 4,000 mix with fiber mesh. We did number three rebar, two feet off center. We poured it four inches thick. Should be enough for any standard application. It's looking really good guys let's go ahead and take a look at that